everyone. It is Vanessa from McKee Music Therapy Services and it is day two, day two of intro to the violin. I hope that you received your notification from YouTube or Facebook that we posted this video because that tells me that you subscribed and you clicked that little notification bell. If you did not, and you're just happy to see this video, make sure you go ahead, go back and subscribe and like our Facebook page and our Instagram page and our YouTube channel and make sure that you are fully in touch with all of our social media so that you can get the great videos that we are putting out. Again, my name is Vanessa and I am from McKee Music Therapy Services and it is Introduction to the Violin Day 2. If you have not watched Day 1, you might want to go back and do Day 1 first. If you don't, hey, come along for the ride. But it's Day 2 here. We are going to do a quick review of what we learned yesterday. Then we're going to talk about this uh, left hand over here and kind of what we're supposed to do with it, how we put our fingers down. And then we're going to learn a super simple song. As you can tell, I still do not have a bow in my right hand because we are still not going to use that. But don't worry, bow day is coming up. It's tomorrow. Day three, we'll be using the bow. Today is still just plucking. Does anyone remember what that's called? It's, it, there's a big fancy term for it. Pizzicato, all about the pizzicato today. All right, quick overview. Let's do the parts and then the string names. Here we go. So from the top, we have our scroll and our tuning pegs. We have the nut. We're gonna talk about that nut today. So make sure that you know where your nut is on your violin. We've got the nut and the fingerboard, okay? And our four strings. Can you remember the names of our four strings? We have G, D, A, E. Now, I got a fun way for you to remember that. I just actually learned this one. I hadn't heard this one before and I think it might be my favorite. So, when you are thinking about these four strings, G, D, A, E you are gonna pretend that you went to go visit Australia. Okay, are you with me, you're pretending? And you're gonna say, good day. G, D, A, E. Good day. It's silly, but it works. G, D, A, E. All right, you can make up your own saying too. And if you make up a saying, let me know in the comments of wherever you're viewing this, because I'd love to know your fun saying for the four names of the strings, okay? All right, moving on. We have the body of the violin. We have the F holes, okay? We've got two of them. Make sure you got two on each side. We also have the bridge that we don't play with. Our fine tuners. Sometimes you might have one, you might have all four. Tail piece, the chin rest. And then on the back we have the back of the violin, obviously, and here are shoulder rest. Now, I think you all should have one. Uh, just, it makes life so much easier. So, we have all the parts of the violin. We've talked about the string names. Let's go ahead and review how to hold viol the violin really quick. And then we are gonna talk about this left hand. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope so. All right, so take care of violin. First, you know what? Let's do this first. Shake out your arms, your hands. Good, take these shoulders, put them all the way up to your ears. Stretch them up and now press them down. You want lots of space, relaxed, calm shoulders. We do not want this shoulder creeping up, okay? Then you get sore muscles and that is no fun, okay? Nice, calm, relaxed shoulders here. Good, okay? If you need to, maybe up and down a little bit more times, roll them back. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. Good, all right. Let's do one more. So take your hands, your pies, okay? And sh 
share them with the people next to you, that's gonna make sure that your shoulders are nice and back, okay? So take your pies and share them with the people next to you. You could have pie, pizza, I don't know. What do you feel like today? Whatever it is, meatloaf, French toast, I don't know. But share it with the people next to you. There you go. All right, take your violin, hold it, flip it out, and let's rest it right there, nice and snug, but not super snug, okay? All right, and can you let go yet? I don't know, let me see you try. Don't, uh, don't go too far, but go ahead and let go. Good. Good. All right, let's give a wave. Can we wave? Good, all right, hold back on. So we're gonna review our pizzicato now. Take your thumb, get it right on that corner there. All right, is it nice and secure? You wanna feel like you're stable. That's the whole point of that thumb being there. So from G all the way up to E, we're gonna pluck each string four times. And you're gonna say it with me. We're gonna say, G, 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 D, 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 A, 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 E, 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 E. And now we're gonna go backwards. E, 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 A, 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 D, 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 G, 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 G. I'm gonna get nice and close so you can see exactly what I am doing, okay? So that you can see right there. Now, while in order to show you, I am tilting my violin forward. Don't do that. This is just for the camera so that you can see my finger, what my finger is doing. Your violin needs to be slightly forward, but it is definitely facing up. It is not facing out. We don't play like this, okay? You're not showing your audience. It's more of playing to the ceiling a little bit, okay? So, but nice and close so you can see my thumb is right here and I am right there and I'm going, my finger's kind of curved. I'm playing with the pad of my finger, not my fingernail, with the pad of my finger and I am plucking. Got it? Now, you can see it doesn't really matter where you pluck, not a whole lot, but if you're plucking up here, it's just not, it's not as, it, you're getting far away from your base. Okay, so just where your finger naturally will rest. All right, from the beginning, four G's, four D's, four A's, and four E's. Here we go. Four, G, 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 D, 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 A, 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 E, 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 and again, G, 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 A, D, 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 A, 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 E, 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 and back down, E, E, E. Awesome. Okay, go ahead, put your violin down. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see the rest of me. Shake your shoulders out. All right, here we go, all the way up and all the way down, relax. Let me roll your neck around too, okay? Especially this way, because you are gonna get a little tight, so stretch that out. So, you all know that the musical alphabet goes from A to G, and then it repeats itself, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 and on and on and on and on. Now, our strings are G, D, A, and E. What happened to the notes in the middle? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that is where the fingers come in, all right? We are only really going to talk about these 
three fingers. All right. One, two, and three. If you took the piano class, the keyboard class, you know that on keyboard, we start with our thumbs as number one. This is the same as the ukulele class or the guitar class where our pointer finger is number one. One, two, three, and four. Your pinky does come into play, but we, for the purpose of this class, we aren't going to talk about it, okay? I will give you a reason why for a beginner in a little bit, okay? One, two, three. That's all you need to know. It's as easy as that. One, two, three. Your right hand, it doesn't get any numbers at all. That's it. You only have to remember three. Also, when you play the violin, the placement of your fingers on the string is going to depend on a couple things. But one thing that I am going to talk about is, I, is whether your friends, whether your fingers are friends and they're close together or they're not friends and they're not close together. So right now, these two fingers are friends, okay? The number two and number three are friends. Number one and number two, they are not friends. There is space in between them. And that's how we talk about this. They are friends and they are not friends. For the purpose of, to, of our time together, we are going to play in the position with just like that, with number one and then space, and then two and three are going to be friends, okay? So that it's like a peace sign with an extra, with an extra finger, okay? You're gonna look at your violin. Does your violin have tape or stickers or some sort of lines on them, okay? Mine doesn't. Violins in their natural forms have no stickers, they have no lines, they have no frets, they have no tape. Oh my goodness, where do I put my fingers? That's why we'd work with friends, and not friends, friends, and not friends. And that helps us to know where to put our fingers, okay? So, I also told you that the nut was gonna be super, super important today. Keep that in mind. All right, go ahead, put your violin up. I have to scooch over so I'm all the way in the, the we are going to take your hand. I told talked about how you kind of hold it back there. Your first finger is not friends with the nut, okay? Not friends with the nut. I want you to put your finger on, let's do the D string. I really like the D string, to be honest. It sounds pretty, it's not too low, it's not too high. It's an awesome string. Okay, I want you to put your first finger on the D string and it is not friends. Now, they're not enemies though either. It's not friends with the nut, but it's not enemies. You want to be a little bit away from the nut and you're gonna figure out how it sounds. We're gonna work on that, okay? If you have tape or stickers, you're gonna have a sticker here on that first spot right there. Now, I told you that number one, two, and three are gonna fill in the gaps, right? So we have D, E, F, G, A. Let's do that again. Just listen. D, E, F, G, A. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm gonna pluck and play this for you. You just watch and listen. I'll start on the G string and I want you to hear how the notes fall in order and work into the open strings. So if we start on G, what will our next note be? Okay, G. Then we start back at the beginning of the alphabet. G, A, B, C, 
open string, D. We filled in the gaps. D, E, F, G. A, we filled in that gap. A, B, C, D, E, we filled in that gap. D, okay, so we have, we have D, E, E, F, G. And that's A, but you don't need the A necessarily right now, okay? So I hope you saw how that worked. I'm gonna do it again, just so you get the concept. Don't worry about remembering all of those note names yet, okay? But just know, like just as you walk up the keys of a piano, it's the same thing, except you're putting your fingers down, okay? You're filling in the gaps between the open strings. Now, before we get too far ahead, and there might be some people out there that are like, wait a minute, you started on a G, and you didn't tell me any sharps or flats, and that was a major scale, because I took a little bit of piano, or I took some other lessons, and I know that there were some sharps in there. You're right, there was, because if you are playing in this position with your second and third fingers, uh, friends, away from your first finger, there are sharps and flats, okay? There, well, there are sharps. You get a C sharp and an F sharp. If you have no idea what I am talking about, don't worry, you don't need to know that, okay? But if you understood that, you understood that now, all right? So we're gonna go through all of it again and I will show you one more time. We're gonna fill in the gaps between the open string. So we start on G, all right? G, A, B, C, open string D, E, F, G, open string A, B, C, D, open string E, F, G, A, okay? All right, are you ready to learn your first little tiny song? Now this song will work on any of the strings, actually, which is pretty cool. We are going to learn Hot Cross Buns. It is probably the first song that people learn on almost any instrument because it really has hardly any notes, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna learn hot cross buns. Take your violin, you're gonna put it up, okay? Now remember, they're space, they are not friends, okay? I want you to play, we're gonna start on D. I want you to play D. We are just finding our first note, okay? Find your D, find your E, okay? It's a little space away from your nut or it's on your first piece of tape. And then I want you to find your F. It is an F sharp. Don't worry about that if you don't know what that means, okay? Second finger on your, on your string, second finger away, not friends, from your first finger, okay? That's all I want you to do now. Now, before, actually, before we finish that, do you see how you see this side of my hand, okay? You do not see this. You don't see, I'm not even sure how other ways you can do this. And you also are not seeing this, all right? We don't want that, that's not good. We need that wrist to be straight, straight out, okay? And the back of your hand should be there. We want to be curling up right on top of the strings. So we're not this way. We're not this way. We're, we're right on top. And when we do that, we're better in tune, okay? So if you're paying attention to making sure you're coming directly down on the strings, it'll help you, okay? So let's find that F again. So open string, D, E, good, okay? And now to play hot crust buns, all we have to do is go 
backwards first. You're gonna play along with me. F, E, D. F, E, D. Okay, two, one, open. Do it one more time. Two, one, open. You know what? I'm gonna switch my position. Let's see if we can do this. So maybe you can see from this side too, okay? Maybe, I don't know. Two, one, open. Got that? Do it again. Two, one, open. Now, you're gonna play the D string open four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, from the top, two, one, open, again, two, one, open, four times, one, two, three, four, and then do two, one, open, F, E, D, one more time, two, one, open, hot, cross, buns, Hot cross buns, one a penny, two. I missed a spot. Okay, we have one little section left to learn. Good thing it's easy. Here we go. After your four open D strings, you are going to play first finger for your E. You're gonna play that four times, just the same. So four open, First finger down on your E. Four times. Open, 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 open. One, 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 one. Then F, E, D. I'm gonna play it really slow and steady from the beginning. See if you can play along with me. I will link a, a PDF or something, some handouts for you so that you can uh, have a visual of how to do this too. All right, here we go. Here we go. F, E, D, F, E, D, 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 E, 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 F, E, One more time together. Here we go. F, E, D. Good. F, E, D. F, D, D, D. F, F. My fault. From the Ds, the open strings. D, 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 E, 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 E. I think we need to do it one more time, at least for me. All right, help me out. Make sure that you get it right so that I can get it right. Here we go. On that F. F, E, D. F, E, D. F, E, D, 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 E, 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 F, E, Excellent. I'm sure you got it right that time too. I noticed something when I was playing that might have, might lead to a question or two. When a violinist plays, or really any stringed instrument plays, a player plays, you want to, you're going to use something called vibrato. Not now. Don't do that now. Don't worry about it. I just want to explain this. Okay, so I'm gonna pluck, and you see my hand? It's a habit for me, because it's something that you do when you become a more advanced player. Right now, keep your hands still. Okay, the vibrato just adds a little bit of warmth to it. 
okay? It adds a little extra vibration, vibrato vib vibration, a little warmth to it. Don't worry about it, all right? Keep your hand nice and still. I want you to focus on keeping this hand, the back of your hand facing out, okay? The palm of your hand is right there so that your fingers can get up on top of the, right on top of the strings, okay? Um, and also focus on keeping this wrist out so that you're not collapsing in, all right? So those are your big focuses. I told you that hot crust buns works in that same finger position on every string, right? So let's give it a shot. I want you to start, and I'm just gonna say the numbers, okay? Let's start on the G string. You remember where your G string is, okay? So same thing now. If you, we've been playing on D, in order to get over to the G string, you're gonna need to move your hand just a little bit. You see that? Here's D, just a little bit, okay? And that comes from here, I gotta back up a little bit. That comes from your elbow, tucking that elbow in, okay? So that you're not, you're right over it, okay? Here we go, from the, on the G string, second finger, two, one, open two one open 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 one 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 two one open got it well, now we already did it on the d string let's try it on the a string you're going to move your arm just a little so that your fingers are now directly over the a string here we go Let's walk it up. Open. One, two. Okay? Two, one, open. Two, one, open. Open, 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 open. One, 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 two, one, open. Excellent. You have one more string to do. Here we go. On your E string. Okay? Now, this string here, you are way over, but you wanna still keep making sure this still stays out. All right, you're not collapsing in. It's nice and strong out. Here we go. Two, one, open. Two, one, open. Open, 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 open. One, one, one. Two, one, open. Very nice. All right, did you get it? Fantastic. So I want you to go practice that. Just, okay, two, one, and open. Tomorrow, we are going to get to play with the bow. It's gonna be awesome. We'll have a great time playing with the bow. I hope you come back for tomorrow's lesson. In the meantime, practice those uh, hot cross buns on every string, all right? So that you can play on every string. Make sure that you are subscribed and signed up for our notifications so that you get tomorrow's video. And in the meantime, practice well and have a great day.